It was built in 1873. It closed in 1957. And I could see how severely deteriorated the building was becoming. I always felt that it was a real little historic gem. The place was in such bad shape. There was holes in the roof. Uh, rafters were rotted, the floor joists were bad, the floor was shot, so it was just terrible, terrible. All the windows were about gone. And so then I approached the family who owned the building and said, uh, you know, th this is looking dismal and what can we do about that? And uh, if there's an opportunity, can I help? And uh, a few months later, they called me and they took me up on my offer and the rest is history. I think my own enthusiasm for restoring it was, was maybe a little infectious. Uh, I started out with friends, people I knew, people I trusted, people from this area. I had lived in this community, I had lived in this neighborhood, uh, and so I knew a lot of people here and said, hey, you know, this is going to be a great project, you're going to want to be a part of it. Uh, and it was all about restoring a historic gem in Scott County, Iowa. The bell tower is quite a challenge. We built that on the ground. We raised it up and dropped it down with some six by six LVLs. It had brackets, so it was all engineered to take the wind. The bell tower was so significant to this building. It no longer existed. Uh, the family that had owned the schoolhouse still owned the original bell. And we were all very passionate about putting that bell tower back on and putting the bell back in the bell tower. I came in um, for the, the last phase. I was very impressed by the meticulousness of the research, by the attention to detail, um, by the desire to make it very, a very authentic experience. There's nothing in this building that sort of um, replicated. Um, she did this research, that she researched the kind of stove that was here, this globe. She saw it hanging in a, in a photograph. She researched what it was and she finally found one. So this is the kind of detail that makes it not just a replication of a schoolhouse, but the actual experience of a schoolhouse. I did do a lot of the hands-on work. You know, I rehabbed the siding on the west side in one summer. Uh, it took me most of the summer. I did a lot of hands-on stuff here, and so it, it is really a part of me. We have it open for visitors. Um, last fall was our first year to try that, and it was a huge success. Uh, we have wonderful volunteer docents who have come in and been trained with some of the stories and ways to engage people while they're here. We are also doing reenactments for school children. This is a part of Iowa that it is Iowa. I mean, they're so Iowa is so rural. And yes, we have we now have you know we have some big cities and we have cities that are developing. But at its heart, it's a very rural state, and it's it's such a part of the state's legacy and the legacy of people who grew up in this area. Yeah.